Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, recently, uh, I received a video from a fellow by the name of user named Tamange, uh, who uh, sent me a video about listing the countries that spend the most on defense. And there are different articles that you can read that also will give you data on that. And the data varies a little bit depending on the, the time of the article or what information they're using. But there is no doubt that the USA spends the most, about $700 billion. And that's rising. That's always rising. Of the top 10 countries in defense spending, only two could be considered rivals of ours, Russia and China. And these two nations are not exactly solid allies. Uh, their relations at times are suspicious and strained. All the rest are at least nominal allies of ours. They include France, Germany, Britain, Japan, uh, India is in there, which, though not a real big ally of ours, has a, a touchy relationship with China. Now, as I mentioned, we spend about $700 billion. Russia spends about $58 billion on defense. And China about $140 billion. So we spend about three times as much as our two biggest competitors. And if you combine it with our allies, they're outspent about five times as much. And yet when our politicians talk about trying to cut our deficit and debt, military spending is off the table. Now, I'm all for maintaining a strong military. But if there is one place where we could make cuts, it is military spending. One thing we could do would be to stop forcing the military to accept weapons they don't want just because they're made in some congressman's district. Another thing the military is already doing is making their bases into multi-service, where all of the branches are housed together. This will allow us to cut the number of bases that we're running, and it's instead of having separate Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine bases, they'll all be housed together, it'll save us money, and also increase cooperation, cooperation between the branches of the service. We have over 700 bases scattered all over the world. I doubt that every single one is necessary for our security. Let's simply have our finest military experts get together and decide which bases we can do without. I was in England and, uh, and uh, there are two Air Force bases, Lake and Heath and M Mildenhall, right across the street from each other. Uh, now, the difference is, is that they specialize in different kind of planes. But I'm wondering if we really need to have two air bases in England. Maybe we could do with one. Um, we have tons of bases in Japan and Okinawa. Well, World War II has been over since 1945. I don't think we need to maintain as many bases as we have there. Now, I'm not saying we should close all the bases. But I am saying that we should very carefully assess what we can do without and turn those bases back over to their countries. 
we can still have the largest and best military in the world without being crazy about it. And, and, and once we've once we've really calculated what we need to do with military spending, then we can look at the rest of the budget and decide how much else we need to cut and how much more revenue we need to, to raise. Military spending is very important, but it is not sacred. Thanks for listening.